What's up guys, it's Jay, more than Kill, and I'm back here with some more Borderlands pre-sequel news and information coming hot out of E3. Spike TV was just live streaming with the Borderlands pre-sequel developers, and I want to send a big shout out to Anthony621 on Twitter for letting me know that they were going through the live stream and they were showing gameplay from Wilhelm's perspective, which means we actually got to see a few looks at some things that we haven't seen inside of the Borderlands pre-sequel trailers and gameplay that have been released. So, the first thing inside this screenshot, we can see Wilhelm's extended melee punch skill being used and completing a badass rank challenge at the same time. So, it is 100% confirmed that badass rank will be coming back from Borderlands 2 and we won't be having any Borderlands 1 style proficiencies in the game, which I hope they do a little bit of a revamp on the badass system to allow us to at least pick the skills that we want because if you play as a melee character, there's no reason for you to spec into shield regeneration. It's just pretty fucking stupid. But the next thing that they've shown was the Vengeance Cannon, which is Wilhelm's middle tree cyber commando capstone that they neglected to show us inside of the Borderlands pre-sequel Moondance trailer. And this has the same health threshold as Divert Power and Emergency Response, so it's going to create a pretty awesome trifecta of your shield going up, your health going down, and now activating a laser cannon on his shoulder that shoots laser blasts in tandem with the weapons while it's activated. And it's activated for 30 seconds, so that's actually very cool to see uh, that we finally get to see what Wilhelm's laser cannon will do inside of the Borderlands pre-sequel. And I know you guys have been waiting for this. There's been a lot of people sending me messages saying, I thought I saw an unkempt herald inside of the Borderlands pre-sequel Moondance trailer. And I said, yeah, but it's possible that they could just be placeholders. But we saw an unkempt herald being used by Wilhelm, and it was shooting just like an unkempt herald. So I think it's safe to say with only a few months left until this game releases, looks like it looks like the unkempt herald is going to be making a return, which is no big secret because Borderlands 1 legendaries have returned in Borderlands 2, and we expected some Borderlands 2 legendaries to return. And the unkempt herald is a fan motherfucking favorite, so glad to see you back, Dirty Harry. <laughs> So, last but not least is we actually saw our first bit of footage of Wolf and Saint being used in Summoned In, and there they are right there. One's a surveyor, and the other's a surveyor. It's just pretty, pretty much what we thought. <laughs> but it's kind of exciting to see new information and pick it apart any little thing that we can get from the gameplay that they showed. Because right now, it's still very early in E3, and I'm just excited to see what we could possibly know about this game after this weekend. So, my name is Jay, more than I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. I, I, I thought this was actually pretty amazing news. We got to know what Wilhelm's Middle Tree Capstone is. We also see that Badass Rank is returning, and we also get to see first looks of not only an Unkempt Herald being used inside of this pre-sequel, but Wolf and Saint being summoned in, and also Wilhelm's extended melee punch. So, my name's Jay, we're gonna have to kill, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.